All right. Hey guys. Um, it's time for another smoke detector unboxing. Um, this is like my third one <laughs> in the last like two weeks or so. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been getting a lot of vintage smoke detectors, which is, could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you view that. Um, so yeah, this is a rather small one. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. I hope this is what I think it is. I, I'm not mistaken, because this is a very small box. I hope I don't have a, a bubble light moment. A few months ago when I was unboxing what I thought was... What did I think it was? Maybe it was a smoky silver? But, uh... Unboxed it and it was some bubble light bulbs. Ended up being a pretty funny failure video. Okay, there we go. Don't need a knife anymore. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was very confused for a second. I was like, um, that's not what I ordered. <laughs> but if we open it up inside, we see it is a first alert. Wait a minute. It's got wires. Yeah, this is a very rare model, or actually a very rare version of a model that I already have. So I'm going to take you guys down. Um, so this is the first alert, SA769AC. And it is the hardwired version of the SA76RS, which you all know is the battery-powered version, the very first one, or one of the, the first 9-volt battery-powered version of the smoke detector that the RK First Alert ever made. This one was the hardwired version of that. So, um, yeah, um, if we go ahead and open the cover, which it was already half off when I op took it out of the box there, we can see that this one's base is a little bit different. It is uh, rectangular, kind of like the, uh, the Family Guards. Right, I just had to quickly run down and grab my family guard. This is my FG888C, which I got last year, you'll remember. But if I take the cover off, you'll see that the base is the exact same. That, that same sort of... It's like the circular base, but cut off in those two spots. So it's kind of like a rectangular shape with these rounded sides. Very interesting design. And I don't know the purpose for that, why they had... Some versions that were uh, with this base and some that had the round base because this is First Alert's version of the hardwired version of the hardwired uh, SA769AC. But if you look on the side here, this one actually says Smoke Alert, just like the uh, earlier SA76RSs on their labels. But this one, this one says SA769AC. And smoke alert. This one's issue number twenty one thirty. And um I'm trying to find radioactive material labels on there. Right there. Maricium two forty one five microcuries. It has the exact same horn um that most of these use, that sort of larger uh this one's really shiny. Um because like I, like I said, this is First Alerts version. I do have BRK's version, which you'll remember I got this one a while ago. Um, this one's got... Now, the uh, BRK's version had the same cover as the original 77R, which, uh, hang on a second, the cover just fell off of this. The 77R right here, which I also have. Just bring it, bringing them all out right here. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, these use that cover. So the only diff difference between the BRK and the First Alert version is First Alert used their trademark cover. Um, but if we open this one up, you'll notice that this one, it has that round base instead of the rectangular one. But this one is also, um, the horn's the exact same, but this one's horn is pretty dull. Like, this one is really shiny for some reason. And if, uh, another strange difference is this one you'll notice right here as the test socket, which is a very uh, strange component that was included on many old BRK units that was actually for accessories. So if you had like a heat sensor, it would plug in on there. 
Um, now that makes perfect sense because Sears actually had a rebrand of this model that did have a heat sensor, so I'm sure that it plugged into the test socket um, if they had those. Um, yeah, I don't know if First Alert ever had ones that used utilized the heat sensor or the test socket. Um, but yeah, now I don't know why the wiring harness here is disconnected. Now also, this one is model number SA, or this one's actually just 769 ACI. It's not SA. SA was first, the SA prefix was first alerts thing. Um, and this one has the yellow interconnect wire. I did notice that this one does not have the interconnect wire, just has the green ground. Um, yeah, very interesting. Now it was unplugged. I don't know if that means that it's not working. Oh yeah, I did just notice something else different. Um, the LED down there. On this one, it's a white colored encasement for the LED. Like the actual LED. Or sorry, not white, clear. Just lost some brain cells there for a minute. Yeah, it's a clear LED encasement. The LED is red colored. At all. They always are on these. This one's LED, actually, the encasement itself is red colored. That's very interesting. I'm sure that BRK was just using random LEDs that they had in stock, but I definitely don't think that signifies anything, but that's very interesting. Oh yeah, and the uh, sensitivity adjustment is right there underneath of this cardboard covering, just like on the, the BRK version. It's the exact same green potentiometer. So very cool. Um, now let's see. I'm going to see if I can't get this thing powered up. But first, I actually did want to would want to say something real quick. This cover, this is the regular SA-76 RS cover right here that you can see it's the exact same. There's literally no difference. It's the exact same as the older, like the original one with the smaller center and the larger outer ring here. I have seen a number of other versions of these First Alert SA-769 AC models that had this cover, this sort of later styled um, SA-76 RS cover with the larger center, the singular lone uh, horn output slot there, and the thinner ring. And I'm pretty sure that this one's cover actually will fit on here. If I take that, maybe. Okay, yeah, there you go. See? So that's what most of the ones that I've seen look like. And I do know that N. Lind on YouTube has one. His is actually an SA769 with a uh, line cord powered, um, and his has this style cover with the lone slot. So, um, yeah. Just thought that was an interesting little addendum there. So now I'm going to see if I can't uh, power this up and see if it works, hopefully, without falsing, <laughs> scaring me. So I'll be right back. All right. I've got the cover back on. I've got it wired up. So we're going to, it's a moment of truth. Let's see if it if it goes or if it don't go. So three, two, one. Oh, the LED is lit and it's not falsing. That LED is way dimmer than the one in this one. Boy, you can barely see that thing. This one's LED is so bright it could basically be used as a night light. That's weird. Maybe it's just a difference between the clear encasement LEDs and the red encasement ones. That's that's very strange. Um, not helping that I have my light on for video lighting, but let's go ahead and give it a test. So three, two, one. Yep, sounds pretty much just like the, the BRK one over here, if you'll remember. Um, that same angry, raspy buzz of that BRK electromechanical vibratory horn. I really do like the sound of it. And once again, it's not all that loud. It's just really, really raspy and annoying. Definitely would not want to be in a room for long when, when this is sounding. Um, and as Jan always says, that'll wake you up. So, um, yeah, and the LED, I don't think, goes out or anything. They normally don't. Nope, stays lit. So open it up here and I guess we'll test it without the cover being dangerous here okay it's a little louder without the cover on but still it's definitely more bearable than like 
a Delta alarm. Um, <laughs> like I, when I put the cover on, it just kind of went, that. um, yeah. So, um, once again, there's nothing on the back and the labels on the side there. And I don't think the slot here, yeah, the family guard base doesn't have that. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Forgot that the test button pushes out there. But uh, Family Guard doesn't have that slot here with the screw hole for the mounting on an electrical box. Um, Family Guard also has this extra keyhole here and not this one here. Interesting. So they didn't reuse the same exact base molding, but they used, I guess, a similar one. Same shape. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to say about this one. It's a very cool, very rare unit. Um, I guess my next target for the SA769 series is the line cord powered version, like the one Nathaniel had. I think he actually used to have it. I think that was one of the ones that got lost in the move, unfortunately. Um, I'm not too positive about that. But um, yeah, I would love to find one of those. Um, although, of course... I'll let Nathaniel find, have the first one if one pops up, since, of course, he deserves to find another one. But, yeah, um, I think that's it for this video. So that's the first alert, SA769 AC smoke detector. One more test to close it out. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.